we hold these truths to be self-evident, that all men are created equal. It is the great parent of science and of virtue, and that a nation will be great in both, always in proportion as it is free. Our liberty depends on the freedom of the press, and that cannot be limited without being lost. Nothing can now be believed which is seen in a newspaper. Truth itself becomes suspicious by being put into that polluted vehicle. I, however, place economy among the first and most important Republican virtues, and public debt as the greatest of the dangers to be feared. Bigotry is the disease of ignorance, of morbid minds, enthusiasm of the free and buoyant. Education and free discussion are the antidotes of both. What a stupendous, what an incomprehensible machine is man! who can endure toil, famine, stripes, imprisonment and death itself and vindication of his own liberty, and the next moment, inflict on his fellow men a bondage, one hour of which is fraught with more misery than ages of that which he rose in rebellion to oppose. Yet the hour of emancipation is advancing, this enterprise is for the young, for those who can follow it up, and bear it through to its consummation. It shall have all my prayers and these are the only weapons of an old man. The two principles on which our conduct towards the Indians should be founded, are justice and fear. After the injuries we have done them, they cannot love us. The expedition of Messrs. Lewis and Clark for exploring the river Missouri, and the best communication from that to the Pacific Ocean, has had all the success which could have been expected. I agree with you that it is the duty of every good citizen to use all the opportunities, which occur to him, for preserving documents relating to the history of our country. I had rather be shut up in a very modest cottage with my books, my family and a few old friends, dining on simple bacon, and letting the world roll on as it liked, than to occupy the most splendid post, which any human power can give.